to my channel. So today is Friday and it's the first day that my gym opens back up since quarantine and I actually haven't been to my gym since December, since before going back to school. So I'm really excited to be back in my gym. Um, I know I've had access to a gym, but it's not the gym I pay a membership to go to. Um, so I'm really, really excited. Um, also the gym I was at, nobody else could really be in. It was just a private gym that Dalton and I had access to. So it's gonna be really exciting getting back into a gym atmosphere. I just like the camaraderie that my gym has to it. Um, the same people go the same day at every single time. You get to know each other, the staff knows everybody, and it's just an incredible gym. So I thought today would be a perfect day to take you along on a day of my life, take you to the gym with me for the first time, and then we'll go from there. And then just a quick outfit check. I'm wearing the same tank top from my last video, which I washed it obviously, um, but it's my favorite um, gym tank at the moment right now. And of course I'm gonna wear it because it's my first day back to the gym. So you gotta look good, feel good, perform good. <laughs> The leggings are the new legacy leggings. Um, you have the little mesh paneling on the ankles. You have your little side pocket. And then the booty has this nice little V contouring. And then it has the legacy logo on it. Can you see it? But that's just the fit. Okay, so I have my backpack on all ready to go. My pre-workout is already mixed with water and in my bottle. I'll drink that while stretching because it's leg day. So I'll have a longer stretching routine than if it was like back day. And then I have a protein one bar that I ate in my last video. And I'll be eating that for breakfast on the way over.
the gym. I need to shower and then run some errands with my mom. Um, but I had a super killer leg day. My gym is following multiple precautions in order to keep everybody safe. Um, but I'm making a video about tips on getting back to the gym and then I'll be recording a whole week worth of workouts to insert in the video so that you have leg days, push days, pull days for when you're back in the gym. Um, so that video will be up next week because obviously I have to record Monday through Friday's workouts. Um, but in that video, I'll be going over everything that my gym is doing precaution wise um, and protocols that they've implemented and things such as that. Um, so I just wanted to quick insert that in here, let you know a new video will be coming next week with a whole week worth of workouts. So be on the lookout for that. So my post gym outfit is just Clyde. Does anybody else's dog not like their carpet? Because mine messes mine up at least three times a day. <laughs> but I'm just wearing a t-shirt from my college. It's just like a nicer style tee. Some ripped jeans from American Eagle and then my Birkenstocks. So nothing fancy by any means. Right now we're at Target. Um, we just went green, which I guess I'll need to explain, but we still have to have masks on, which is super annoying, but I mean, I understand, so. Okay, so we just got out of Target and we were in there forever, but mom, just got an Apple Watch Series 3. So I've just set that up. Um, but we're gonna head to the mall, eat some Chinese food, and go to Five Below. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you. Okay, so I'm back from running errands with my mom, and I thought I would do a little haul of everything I got. So first up is from the supplement store. So we have a place, please don't mind Clyde. He loves to be nosy. <laughs> um, we have a local supplement store around me called Fitness Mania. There's my other dog, Dexter. Come here, Dex. Come say hi. So I got protein and it's a matrix. And I absolutely love this protein. So the reason I love getting this protein is because a lot of the whey proteins that I have gotten don't mix well in my milk and I'm not somebody who can do protein powder in just water. So this is the protein that is always my go-to. It's 29 scoops per container and one scoop has 120 calories, two grams of fat, three grams of carbs and 23 grams of protein in one scoop. Also from the supplement store, I got Smart Sweets. <laughs> so Smart Sweets um, are all over Instagram. Like all of the fitness influencers that I follow swear by these. Um, and I just really never felt like ordering them online. So when I saw them in store, I thought it would be a perfect time to grab them and try them. So I got sour gummy bears. I got like soft chews, which is a knockoff of Starburst, and then Swedish Fish. They all only have three grams of sugar in a whole bag. So they have no protein, they have 42 carbs, so they are still pretty high in carbs, um, but 90 calories for a whole bag, are you kidding me? And I'm on Weight Watchers and it's three points for this whole bag. Okay, so next we went to Target. Um, as you saw, my mom got an Apple Watch and she's so excited. So I'm gonna spend literally all night trying to teach her how to use it, but that's okay. So from Target, one thing I got <laughs> is this three piece trash can set, which comes with the trash can, the toothbrush holder and the soap dispenser. And this is for my apartment um, up at school. So I'll be putting this away until August. <laughs> Um, and then I also got a shower curtain for school this fall. So this is the shower curtain that I got. So those are just two things I got for school in the fall. And then also from Target, I got a Zach tumbler. It's a knockoff of a Yeti and this thing was 
ten dollars ten dollars and it's 30 ounces so I'm super excited um, it says four hours hot and 20 hours cold with ice so my mom actually bought this for me because she bought insulated cups for her and my dad and didn't buy me one so so she felt bad <laughs> and then the last thing I got from Target is a smart scale so this is the thing i'm most excited for so this is weight gurus app sync smart scale so this bad boy was only 39.99 um some of the smart scales i've seen online are like a hundred plus dollars so for 40 dollars, i'm super excited so it does your weight your bmi your body fat your muscle mass your water weight your bone mass um, and it works with Apple Health. So I'll be able to view all of my data on my iPhone, which is really nice. Because just tracking your weight is a good way to track your progress. But the number on this scale does not even tell half of the story. So somebody could be my exact height, my exact weight, and we'll have the same BMI because your BMI is composed between your height and your weight. So we would have the same BMI, but all of our other numbers could be completely different. We could have a different muscle mass composition, water weight, bone density, and those things are what all goes in to making the number on the scale. So when you just step on a regular scale and you only see that one number, that's only telling you one piece of the puzzle. And so, Getting a scale like this is going to be so much better for tracking progress, especially for seeing um, my muscle mass and my body fat percentage. That's what I'm looking forward to seeing the most. So highly recommend grabbing one of these. It's finally about time that I invest and I get one and I'm super excited. Okay, so the last stop on our little errand run was Five Below. So the main reason we went to buy below is because I've had my Apple watch for a year now and I still have never had a screen protector on it, um, which isn't smart because I paid an arm, a leg, and three of my fingers for my Apple watch. So um, there's really, there's only a couple scratches on them, but you can't even see it unless you like tilt it into the light. If you're looking straight on, there's no scratches. But I figured it's about time I go and I get tempered glass for on top of my watch. So I have the Series 4 44 millimeters. And then I also got a, a phone stand for my car. So this is one like this. And then it has an adhesive back where you just peel and you stick it on your dashboard. And it has a 360 swivel. So the fam is at Plum Creek Creamery, our favorite creamery. Um, they have the best soft pretzel on the face of this planet. Um, but Dalton is here. And we brought my mom because <laughs> it's the first time that we could bring her out since quarantine. Oh my gosh, I was so excited for my pretzel and I started eating it so fast I forgot to show it to you. But that's half my soft pretzel. And then I also got mozzarella sticks. Dalton got cheese fries. Kyle got cheese fries with pulled pork. My mom and dad got pulled pork sandwiches. And my mom got a burger. That might be too much. <laughs> <laughs> But okay guys, that is it. That wraps up today's vlog. Um, today was a really good Friday. Um, I didn't do too much, just ran some errands. But it was really nice um, having the day off, spending time with family, and just enjoying myself. And the gym's open for the first time, so that's always a plus. Thanks for coming back to watch another video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And don't forget to keep checking back for more content.